So we're actually okay with this. Now, if you like to see this turned around or if you like to see this swap down, we can go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and do the algorithm just to demonstrate that, but let's bear in mind our corners now. We're going to be cycling these corners. The corners that are out are all of these. Now, there's a reason why I didn't put this corner in. All of these soons um, and whatnot, we're just going to pull this out anyway, so I even worry about it. So what I'm going to do is let's see if we can't maybe get this square, this um, um, corner piece, into this position over here. So this needs to go where the red is. Now I have to keep track of that because I'm going to be changing the configuration a little bit. So I'm going to move this up into ready position and now let's move it, whoops, there we go, into action position. Turn and turn. Okay, so I want to move this guy into this position which would mean doing the algorithm twice. If I do the algorithm twice, this is going to just bounce back where it was. Um, which isn't really a bad thing. Uh, but in order to get this into this position, let's just go ahead and do that twice. So here's that algorithm, same algorithm. R, U, R, I, U, R, to U, R, I. We do a U, then we do our commutator of F, R, I, F, I, R. We do a 2u, then fi, ui, f, then a 2u. Notice this went to here, and this is just waiting to come over to here. But just to prove a point, I'll show you what happened to these. Out of action position into ready position, you see this is here. We can turn this around, and these are just fine. These are where they need to be. Now we can start this anew and see where things have to go. Let's say I still want to move this over to here, so we'll... Yeah, okay. Move this into ready position and to action position. Okay, so what I really want to do is take this and move it to here. But I want to do it to where I have to move the algorithm twice so I don't mess up the edges. It doesn't matter if I do, but I can move this over here. That means two turns of this algorithm will put this to here and it will actually rotate these edges, but because I did it twice, it'll rotate it out and then back in, so all will be fine. Just bear in mind, you're free to move this and adjust these corners any way you want. Just remember what you're doing with these edges, and remember to get them back, because when you turn this back here, this will still be upside down. So we'll do the algorithm twice. R U, R I U, R to U, R I, U, turn, 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 turn to U, Turn, turn, turn to you. Without thinking about it, just do it again. R U R A U R to you R I U. Turn, 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 turn to you. Bing, zoom, splat to you. And look at that. It's in where it needs to be. So we're good. So let's reorient ourselves. Let's get us back into ready position. Do an F. Do a R I. Then we can wheel this around, turn this back, and we see what we've got. Okay, so so this is in, and now we get to take a look and see uh, what else is here. Uh, so you see that this is where it needs to be. It's just rotated up, which is fine. We can uh, easily get that back um, just by doing the algorithm. Um, what we want to do next is we need to cycle these guys and get them in the right place. Now we can see that none of these are really in the right place here. The next one that I'd recommend putting in is I put the one that's in here. So what I want is I want this yellow one to end up where the blue is. So, uh, yeah, so let's get this out of ready position into action position. And I need to coordinate it to where this yellow can go to where this blue is going to be. Because as you recall, that's where it had to go. Okay, so it's not going to be able to do that from this configuration because it can't be across from it. So what I'm going to have to do is put it next to it. Or move this down to here. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm just going to do the commutator, a quick commutator to bring this down to here. Which will be R... U I R I U. Okay, so to get the yellow to here, what do I have to do? I'm going to move this over to here. The problem is that this will only be one turn of the algorithm, which will flip these two. So I'm going to move it over here so that two 
turns of the algorithm, we'll flip this out and flip it back. So we quickly do that. Now, what's going to happen is that this is going to flip, but it's going to stay in the same place. And that's okay for now. So it's going to be R U R I U R two U R I. Do the U, then do our F I. Rather F R I. F I R two U. F I. U I. F and then to you. Do it again. Turn, 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 turn. You clink, clink, clunk, clunk. To you, splat, clink, clank, and to you. So you can see this is rotated around. Um, but now we should have the yellow where the blue was, which we have it over here. So it's, an, it's a question of getting it back. And I always try to look at it and remember it from this standpoint. What can I do to move this back to here? Well, I'm going to move this here and go turn, turn, turn. That puts this back here in front of me and it puts this, these two next to each other. So I'm going to move this down, across, double turn, and turn. And what we find is that this is indeed in. This is where it needs to be. Now these are still up, which is kind of disturbing to see. But now all we have to do is three cycle. This, this, and this. So what we have to bear in mind is that this um, square piece has to go where the green is. And what's more, it would be nice if we can do one turn of the algorithm to get this back. So square goes to where the green is. So let's go ahead and get this into ready position and then action position. All right, here's this square. This is already in, and here's this green. And that's where I have to move it. Now I can turn this here, and one turn of that algorithm will bring it here, but unfortunately I'm going to be flipping the wrong corners. So these are the ones that have to three cycle. So let's just go ahead and get them in. So I'm going to turn this over, well, let's see. I want this to go where the green is, but it's got to, um, it's got to be twice that it's going to do that. It has to be two turns of the algorithm. So I can go turn, well, Turn, turn, turn. No, oh, that's not going to do it either. Okay. If I move it that way, so what I did is I just took this, moved this up here, did a quick commutator so that I can move it to where to, to move this in this position, I have to do the algorithm twice. That way we won't run into problems with discoordinating these edges. So, R U R I U R to U R I, turn, bang, splat, zoom, clink, double turn, 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 double turn. Now I'm not saying the algorithm each time because it's kind of difficult for me to say it and do it at the same time sometimes. So that's why I keep saying things like turn, 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 and clink. Make sure I do the U, do my quick commutator, to U, quick mini commutator, and to U. That should get me where I want to be. All I've got to do is remember how to get this one back, which should be easy enough. Move this in here, here, and here. I did the commutator that moves this in, and you can see this is where it needs to be here. So now we move this into our positions and see where we're at. Okay, so this is in and this is in. Unfortunately, something went wrong with how I did this. And now I have to cycle these. This is a little harder to coordinate, but this orange goes, this yellow goes to the green, green goes to the blue, blue goes to the yellow. So just remember that the yellow goes to the green. So move it into our position. So it's all the little wedges that have to go in. The yellow must go to the green, and wouldn't you know it, they're in a position that they can't do anything with. So I have to reorganize. So move this up, turn, and turn. All right, so yellow to green, I have to move it to here. This is going to work well, because now this is going to end up down here in two spins of this algorithm. R, U, R, I, U, R, to U, R, I, U, turn, 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 to you. So it's a pretty fast moving algorithm once you get the hang of it. To you, turn, 
turn, turn, and to you. Okay, that should have placed everything where they need to be from a permutation standpoint. I just have to get this back. So, this needs to move into this position. Turn, turn, turn. Now, bear in mind, if you messed this up because you have issues with the configuration, don't worry about it. All you're going to do is you're going to have to go back one step. You're not going to ruin anything else. And that's okay. And honestly, I've done that many times with this. So let's go ahead and put this into our solve position. And as you can see, things are where they need to be. They're just not rotated correctly. The first thing that I want to do is I want to get this down. And the only way to get this down is do that algorithm three times. If I do it three times, everything's going to rotate around, but they're going to end up permuted back, and this is just going to come back down. So I'm going to do that. Move this over here. So all I'm going to do is this algorithm three times for the simple purpose of actually moving this down. I don't have to do anything more fancy than that. R U R A U R to U R I U. Clink, clink, clunk, clink to you. This this and this, and to you. That's once. Do it again. All right, you. Turn, 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 turn. To you. Turn, 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 and to you. And one more for good measure. Turn, turn, to you. Turn, 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 and to you. Okay, now move it down, across, Splat, and look at that, this has moved down. So now we have a pretty easy confirmation. These guys just need to be rotated. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to do that by using that soon anti soon combination. All I have to do is in my ready position is I've got to turn them in a way that, uh, um, that they're going to be next to each other. So let's get ourselves in ready position and action position. Now I've got to take these two and move them next to each other. So do anything that you can that you need to do to make that happen. Okay? They're next to each other. Move them to the side here and do it soon and anti soon. R U R I U R to U R I and up oh, we can't do an L but that's okay. Simply move this to here and do our L from here. L I U I L U I L I to U L and now I simply move it back. Now, did that turn it in the right position? It's hard, to, it's hard to say. So what you can do is you can just put it back in and see if it's where we want it to be. So again, this has to make it to here. That's how I remember how to cycle it back. Turn, turn, turn. Now that we have that, we move this here and we see that it was turned correctly. Move this back to the ready position and you can see we're where we need to be. We go from ready position to here, solve position, and you got it. Jupiter cube is solved. Now, karma was really working for me. I kept getting the easiest configurations with this. So I'll tell you, that last configuration, when it came to these corners, might not have looked so easy. It might have looked something more like this. Okay. So let's pretend like this puzzle was a lot more challenging. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so looking at this, you see this is rotated, this is rotated, these are rotated. So um, it gets a little bit more complicated in terms of how it happens rather than just having two. What I would do in a situation like this is focus on these guys first just because it's easier to visualize. So let's get ourselves into ready position and now action position. And now we see that, that uh, well, we might as well pay attention to which ones needed to be rotated. Uh, so the green doesn't need to be touched, but the yellow and the blue one does. So remember yellow and blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep rotating this until this is in, and I'm not sure if this is going to be in or not, but you know, we'll, we'll just see where it goes. So R U R I U R to U R I. Move it here. Turn, 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 turn. Move it back. So this is rotated in, and as I turn here, you can see that this is not as of yet. So that's okay. Um, so what I'll do next is I'm going to turn this one, make a U move, and keep doing this until this one is rotated correctly. So turn this over here, same thing until this is rotated correctly. R U, R I U, R to U, R I. Turn here, turn, 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 turn. This is just the anti version and move it back. So you can see that this is in as well. 
So now let's kind of take a look and see what else needs to happen. This is not in. Now I know from the law of cubes, if this isn't in, this can't be in. As a matter of fact, you can predict from this position that this one can't be in yet. Because if it was in, then we'd have just one that was out. And according to the law of cubes, you cannot have one corner that's twisted and nothing else. So I know for fact that this one has to be out of place. Uh, so I don't even have to check it. Could check it and see that it's not. Now what I have to do is I have to move these next to each other. So I just do a commutator to put them next to each other. So what I'll do is I'll go turn, turn, turn. So they're next to each other. Just remember to move it back. And we can remember how we did that just by the orientation of how these are going to be next to each other. But in any case, let's go ahead and twist these. R U, R I U, R 2 U, R I. I'm going to do a U I, turn the puzzle here and do L I U I L U I, L I 2 U L. And I'll move it back. So now let's move our commutators back into position, like so. Move this back here, turn this in, and you see we're not quite done. So we have to do it at least once more. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing. R U, R I U, R to U, R I. Now, I fully know that you can just do F I U I, F U I, you, know, you could do it that way. Uh, but like I say, I prefer to just do it this way. Turn. That way I'm not trying to memorize new moves. Although it's not really a new move, it's just a different orientation. Okay, let's get this back. Doesn't go in like that. Goes in like that. Okay, so we're good over here. Move this in. Turn this to here. We're getting. We're going from our ready, our action position to our ready position. Turn, and you can see we're all in. And turn. So there it is. Jupiter Diane puzzle is conquered, and it was conquered with really just two algorithms, both of which are based upon the soon. All the rest had to do with just positioning, and the positioning had to do with strategy by understanding what a ready position and what an action position is. So go ahead, get this puzzle, conquer it, and realize once you know the strategy, it ain't so bad. Anyway, keep those requests coming. Thanks for watching.